Ready? Steady? Go. And that's it. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me and thank you for joining me yet for another video. Today is gonna be one of those good days because I just got my hands on the brand new Fuji JFX 100 Mark II. And to be honest, this is the second time that I get my hands on it. First time I got it from the people at PCH, but uh, I got it just for one day and that day I was feeling uh, unwell and sick and it was a missed opportunity because it was just being released and uh, I didn't get any shots with it and I didn't use it. But um, now I got it from uh, for two days from 50.8. It's a shop um, close to Brussels with rental uh, with a rental shop with a proper shop and uh, uh, three um, studios for your uh, photography and professional work. And they landed me the camera for the weekend. If you always plan to use uh, or try uh, a medium format camera for your work or just try to see how it, uh, how it works for you, uh, to see how the, the files are looking, you can now rent these cameras, uh, this one and Hasselblad X2D. Uh, directly from the 50.8 shop and uh, the best part of, uh, about this thing is that if you rent it and if you decide to buy it the cost of the renting will be deducted uh, from the invoice so this is a pretty nice touch i got this for two days yesterday it was pouring rain it was windy so i didn't use it and um, i got uh, i got some shots today with it and i put it to um, to work so it's not not going to be a proper review but uh, I'm gonna give you some uh, some highlights, some details, some key highlights about this camera, uh, and then uh, we're just gonna dive in the video. I use it for uh, for some street photography, even though its purpose is not street photography, but I wanted to see how it uh, works in the, in the real situation, how it uh, works doing some portraits, and I shot some portraits. So um, yeah, these are my thoughts about the Fuji, uh, my first impression and my thoughts about the Fuji JFX 100. Oh. So this is a medium format camera, it has 102 megapixels and the image quality is absolutely great. I'm gonna show you later on some, some pictures taken uh, on the streets and some portraits that I shot with, uh, with this camera. First of all, when you pick it up, you can see it's a pretty large, massive and robust camera. It's, uh, it's very solid, it's very well built. Um, the grip is very um, comfortable and it's very, um, it's very deep, so uh, uh, it stays very well in the hand but it's still a, a pretty heavy camera. I would say that's not very, not that heavy as a Canon 1D series, DSLR series from, uh, from the past, but uh, it's still a pretty, pretty heavy camera and it's very well balanced with the uh, new Fuji 55mm uh, 1.7 that I used uh, for this video and for the shots that I'm gonna see uh, uh, very soon. And this is how it compares in terms of size to my, uh, to my Canon R5 and uh, the Canon Lens 50 1.2. So you can see it's a, it's, it's a pretty massive camera. I love the screen that's here on top, the LCD screen here. It, it shows the, the modes, the shooting modes, the ISO and other information. You can still uh, see the details here, even though the camera is uh, it's turned off, so you know where you left it. And that's a pretty nice touch. I love the buttons here to customize it. Uh, it has lots of bust buttons that make your life easier. So that's a pretty, pretty nice touch as well. The screen is lovely as well. And I have used the screen for, uh, for the purpose of this, uh, this video, but the viewfinder, the viewfinder is absolutely excellent. The best viewfinder I saw in a, in a camera so far. Uh, it has 9 million dots uh, resolution, if I'm not uh, wrong. And it's wide, it's uh, large, it's absolutely great. It covers your eye. It's absolutely the best viewfinder that I, uh, I saw. I have used it for, uh, for the portraits. Yeah, it feels like a premium camera. It feels uh, very well balanced with this lens. It is a pretty expensive camera. It's 8,000 euros here in Belgium. And even though it's not intended for, um, for um, street photography, I wanted to test it in real, uh, real conditions. And to be honest, this is the first time that I felt uncomfortable pointing the, a camera at people on the, on the streets. And the, the pictures, the street, uh, street photography pictures that you're gonna see are pretty shy. And I, I'm not used to this focal length, which on full frame terms is about uh, 45 millimeters, if I'm not wrong.
some portraits as well so um, make sure to stay for the for the video uh, very soon and I tested also the autofocus and the eye focus uh, when I was doing portraits you can shoot um, 8 frames per second in the um, high burst mode there's some controversy about the, the drop in quality if you're shooting in the high burst mode but I'm gonna put the link in the, the description um, on the video apparently you're not getting that 16-bit raw um, image uh, when shooting in burst mode so you're getting less and less and, it, and the quality is, is dropping a little bit say hi to youtube dennis hi youtube So here from the 12 shots taken, uh, only 3 of them were slightly out of focus and uh, I think it's performing the autofocus, the face detection and the eye detection is performing uh, pretty well. What are my thoughts after using the brand new Fuji JFX uh, 100 uh, Mark II um, uh, in Brussels for one day? Um, different, uh, different real uh, scenarios like um, street photography, even though this at uh, this size, this is not a camera intended for street photography, um, for portraits and even taking some pictures during a demonstration here. Um, I think this is the best medium format camera um, uh, 
uh, out there at uh, the time of recording of the, this video and um, uh, it's faster than any other medium format camera uh, the autofocus is better than the other out, uh, medium format cameras out there and um, to be honest i feel confident shooting a, a full wedding with this camera even though this camera is more intended for studio work for product photography uh, for food photography um, for larger prints but uh, now medium format camera um, autofocus in medium format camera is uh, getting uh, better and better even though um, the face detection or eye detection sometimes it misses uh, it still it comes a long way and uh, it's it's better than any other uh, me medium format cameras autofocus I would definitely want to add this to my uh, holy trinity of cameras for now my holy trinity is uh, uh, this is a Leica Q2, is a Fuji X-C4 and the Ricoh GR3. Uh, nevertheless, I would love to add this to my um, to my Holy Trinity. Unfortunately, I don't have the budget for the moment, but I would love to have it to shoot some architecture, maybe to shoot some portraits. So yeah, that was it. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think about the pictures and uh, see you very soon.